Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episodes 9 and 10 of my Atome. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. My thing is, why doesn't he just tell her that, you know, that person that she's talking to is him? Does she, does he not want her to know? I mean, it's obvious, yes, but still. Oh, damn. Uh, Alright. This makes you wonder, Arika, how can you be so good at combat but suck at everything else? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's typical of a protagonist, you know. Mm, yes, the heroine. She's good at being a magical girl, but everything else she just sucks at. But then everyone who she's friends with is so much better. Usagi Sakino, you are one of them as well. I am sorry, honey. I think the only one who is really, truly good at almost everything... Sakura? From Car Car to Sakura? <laughs> she can be, like, okay, Sakura can be klutzy at times and such, but she's not as klutzy as Usagi Sakino is, because... <laughs> Baby is so freaking klutzy. And, and, and it's one of the many things of why I love Usaki so much. And <laughs> made you think, oh, hey, yeah, you can be clumsy too. Because sometimes I am clumsy. They, I, I, oh, God. I remember when I started cooking for the first time, I was not the best cook. Now I'm really good at cooking and such. Like, very, very good. You know, I can make... Mm, some good nachos, spaghetti, chicken alfredo, cheesy broccoli and rice with some, you know, vegetarian chicken, and you would love it. <laughs> mm. Is it bad? Like, really bad? Excuse me. Does Ari have to pay for this field trip? Oh, the beach. Poor baby. <laughs> of course, much it was gonna come. <laughs> Girl is like, oh, free trip, but. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, you're not going to try any funny other business while we're here, right? Because, I mean, maybe. Now, see, if you want alone time with her so that you can ask her properly to marry you. <laughs> Poor Mashiro. Nah, you get to go camping, camping. And this is really an, an exam that got, oh god, this feels torturous. <laughs> How, long, how many days are they going to give them to try to get to the final destination? Like, we going to give them a week, right? There's no way in hell that they can get there in a day. Or two, maybe four days. <laughs> oh my god. Gonna start tomorrow. Yeah, you should be able to have fun and do whatever you want, you know. So, Mr. Grand Duke, what are you up to? Damn, they really have them sleep in these little tents. Jesus Christ. You know, once again, why is somebody fucking with Arika like a day? Take your time. Just please be good at meeting reading maps, like I swear to God. It's interesting that these two are partnered together because you know Miss Little like green turquoise hair is, you know, um <clears throat> suspicious.
I don't really think Majido wants to hang out with you. Okay. Of course. Oh, oh, honey. Hmm. Even the cat got a bathing suit, oh my god. This is giving me camping vibes, and I don't. Oh! <gasps> but still. Yeah. Do you not have a first aid kit or something? Yeah, why don't we just rest for the night? Yeah, you got a nice sunset and everything. You gotta find Nina. No. I don't think that was an animal, ma'am. Laughing mushrooms? <laughs>
Oh, hun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you put your mind really to it and fully commit, you'll do great. Once again, everybody is in love with each other. It's so freaking obvious. I'm guessing this is going to be a two-parter episode with the way this is going because we're almost done. Mm. It's Florida in a nutshell even though it's only like 3 a.m. now but it might rain again. She's getting worse. And it's raining too. Because of the fact you're still sick. <laughs> Watch it on your plan. He's so wrong. You're worried about her just as much as everyone else is. That is a Oh, yeah.
Why would you tell that to the bad guy? Exactly. If you hurry, hurry, come, hurry, come, come on now. Oh God, that's a long way down. We really gonna end like that this week, huh? We oh, you know I was just joking. You didn't have to do that, right? No, 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 no. But is he sick? And Ari could not just fell into the fucking water. She's gonna be fine, of course. But oh God, the fact is that they can't get in touch with them, and that they could be anywhere on the Godforsaken Island. Is a challenge like whoa? Um, hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> oh, I don't like this at all. I'm scared for her. The fact is, also, Arika, once again, why would you tell the bad guy, you know, the situation of what is going on and that you need help? That's y y you don't do that. No, that's like when a villain. <laughs> The villain would tell you his life story plan and everything, and you'd be sitting here like, why are you telling me this, sir? You know, if you really want to tell me something about this, maybe you shouldn't voice the fact is of what your plan is going to be and how you possibly are going to do it, because, you know... <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, it's 3 a.m. and I'm getting sleepy. Um... <laughs> the hero, main hero, hero, heroine, whatever. They're, they're gonna figure out a way to how to defeat you, right? I mean, come on now. Even <laughs> Ari got sick I mean, I hope they find her. See, I mean, because it, it would make the most sense. But, like, of course, you see that Nina's dad is going to find her first and possibly nurse her back to help, uh, health. And then eventually the rest of the females, um, the women and, you know, the headmaster and everything, they're going to find her. See, hopefully, because the fact is... Ari is the only one who knows where Ursi is right now. No one else knows. And so, hopefully... By the next episode, everything is going to be okay. But who knows how the heck this is going to go. I mean, that preview gives you little to nothing. So, of course, we have to wait. <laughs> oh, God. To abruptly end like that, that is so not cool. I mean, as someone who does not like cliffhangers, like, oh, God. <laughs> the list of cliffhangers. It's like, ah. Uh! It's not cool. Please don't do that again. But knowing this show, I, I think it's going to do it again. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. One thing I didn't, I didn't say that I want to say now, any time when it gets really, truly rough... That is when Arika really steps up and she's like, you know what, I have to take save my teammate, partner, whoever. And I really like that about her. Even though, like, yes, very clumsy, loves friends. I just love when she does that. Because it just tells you how, you know, she's willing to do everything that it takes to become an Atome. And I fucking there. Well, oh. I mean, we know he's going to be the one to find her because it's in the preview. Hmm. 
Oh. Um. Sir, can you even handle that, though? Excuse me, sorry. This is what happens when you take two naps <laughs> during the day and you're like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and watch Patreon shows at 2 o'clock in the morning and get it done and do the other half tomorrow after Kobayashi, but you're super sleepy and you're like, no, I'm going to stay up and get this done so that I don't have to do it later on in the day. Having to record like five shows. No, four shows, but a lot of episodes. About like eight episodes, yeah. That's just crazy, right? God, somebody found her. Mm -hmm. But, if, you know, she's with your dad now, but it's okay. This bitch right here. See, they're okay. Okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. I'm still breathing. Heartbeat. Sorry. Mm hmm. Oh, and psh, now you want to care about her. You know, just like the previous episode, you didn't really care. <laughs> Mashino, you know, that is a complete and total lie, honey. Stable. Stop faking it. Come on now. Excuse me. Nina.
Nina, no, it's too dangerous. You have no blankets or anything or fire. Yeah. She's getting worse, isn't she? And of course, whatever they need, it's, it's in there, ain't it? Nina, no. <clears throat> Three. Yeah, I mean, but if you really, truly care for Nina, just say yes. He can be a little asshole sometimes, even a little prick, but you know, when it comes time to being, like, important character, you know, I gotta do what you gotta do, right?
so precious. Oh my god. But every girl would be like that. Come on now. She's fine. Yeah, you're just still a preteen, so don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, God. And someone's also watching you, that guy again. So then it makes you wonder, okay, is the guy in the blonde hair who's behind them watching them, is he working for the prince? Oh, you mother ever. Well, you know, never mind, he is not. So, you know, should we try that again? <laughs> You ready now? Real quick. That too? Okay, no, never mind. But mm, 
yeah, with her hair like that and the hair color, she kind of looks like Ari. Like an older version of Ari if Ari was corrupt, but maybe they're possibly related. Mm. Well, can't trust anyone. You know, also, isn't summoning things a little bit of cheating? supposed to happen yeah oh okay we, we just throw it away like it's trash now okay <laughs> so shouldn't you guys go after smith now she just said Mirodin. Mirodin was one of the characters from the first few episodes right that they talked about she was one the the girl that had to kill her friend, right? Oh, hold up! Like, see, we ain't gonna know until Friday. <laughs> Funny enough, you, you're just writing to Sergey. You've been seeing him almost every day. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> okay, we we okay. I don't trust this kid. <laughs> I really don't trust this kid. Why would you not tell Sergey what you're planning? There, then there's something. Whatever it is, it's a big behind secret that. You want to ruin the friend, not even the friendship, the relationship that he has with Sergey, and such. I mean, what whatever it is, it's, it must be really, really secretive and bad. And I'm guessing we're not going to know until, excuse me, the second half of this show. Maybe. Thank God, Ersti and Ari are okay. I feel bad for Nina, especially with the fact is that yeah, Ari called her dad by his first name. 
Um, and so, of course, she's going to feel some type of way. Ari, I mean, not Ari, Nina has felt some type of way ever since the beginning of the series when it comes to the situation of with her dad and Arika herself. And now combining these two people and seeing their relationship, of course, Nina is going to feel some type of way. So it, it's going to be worse once... Ari and Nina find out that, you know, Nina's dad is the one who is writing letters to her. And I think that's really going to break Nina a lot. It, it's really going to hurt her. She might not want to talk to her dad again after this because, I mean, she really truly cares for him a lot. But she feels like she can't trust him. And it's almost like when someone really, truly breaks your trust, how can you try to have a relationship with them again, you know? And I think when that day does come, whatever episode we get for it next, Nina Nina's going to look at her father as a completely different person. Um, Mironin, what the, who the fuck is she? If she's not the girl from the opening, then what? It, who is she? What's the connection to the 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 one chick who's technically kind of like the nurse of the series and such? And I'm guessing we're not gonna find that out till later. There, there, there's so many unanswered questions. It's only episode ten. Episode ten. You you think you have everything thing thought out, but no. Here's a curveball. So like once again, I really. I can't, so I can't trust the, the the freaking prince. I can't trust the girl with the turquoise hair. Who else can I trust in this series? I mean, god dang. Let's have two people. Jesus. Like, come on, man. Mm -mm. <laughs> this ain't cool, but I love it so much. But something tells me that, you know, the girls are going to find out about the girl with the turquoise hair. And then whatever the heck, um... The prince is planning. They're going to find out about that too soon. But I'm guessing we're, we're probably not going to see that until, like I said, towards the second half. So maybe in like the next few weeks, um, maybe about three or four weeks from now, we might get the answer on it. I'm not 100% sure. But like, yeah, just I I'm going to be looking at them very closely for the next few episodes. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of my Atome. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchup Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. Bye, guys.